Okay, so what happens when you run a test in Cypress? A little bit of theory <laughs> uh, for for uh, at the beginning. So uh, Cypress actually uses uh, uses browser as a testing environment. So this is like quite quite a, a distinction from uh, what happens in maybe some other tools, which uh, focus sort of automating the browser. They call the browser to do some actions, right? Open the window or open a new tab, right? And uh, and Cypress kind of works a little bit differently. It is inside the browser, and what it does, it opens two iframes, right? And one is where your application lives. So wait, let me just point this out. So this is this is the one iframe. This is where our application lives. And you can imagine this part being the second iframe where our test uh, script lives. Although it's not like uh, really where it is, it's just like a view of our script. But, uh, but if we open our console, then whenever we want to do call something in our application, uh, we, we have to like switch. And this is this this uh, little button over here. This is where you can sort of see those iframes, right? So the first one is our test project. This is our local host. This is the application we are running, and the second one is the spec, right? So this is our uh, this is yeah, our and test. And, and this, this spec is like used by Cypress. So um, yeah. it, it's that second iframe. Um, is almost like a third place because there's also top, which is like where the UI that you just looked at lives in that mm -hmm. kind of main top window. And then, yeah, there's there's the iframe that your application gets inserted into. And then there's this other iframe that has like little supporting code that Cypress needs that's kind of invisible. 